in my previous video, I programmed MAX7219 4-digit dot matrix display to show different types of characters. In this video, an Arduino library is created to facilitate the usage of the display in different applications. This circuit diagram shows the interfacing of the 4-digit module with the Arduino. One thing I forgot to mention in my previous video is that the SPI of the microcontroller is not used here. Normally when the SPI is used, the clock line is always connected to digital pin 13, while the data must be connected to pin D11. The chip select can be connected to any available digital pin. In this video, bit banging is used to interface the Arduino with the display by using any three digital pins. The advantage of this technique is that now we can interface multiple displays to the Arduino as will be demonstrated in the coming examples. The directory structure of the library is shown here. Within the Arduino's libraries folder we create our library folder. Within it we create the examples folder containing the example sketches and also we create the required files such as the source file, the header file and the keywords file. Visual Studio Code will be used to create the header file, source file and the keywords file and also the demo sketches. Six functions are available in this library. We have initialize which will initialize the four digit display and set the brightness level. Function clear will clear the display by switching off all of the LEDs. Function letter has two arguments. First argument is the digit value 1, 2, 3, 4. And the second argument is the alphabet to be displayed from A to Z, either capital or small. Function symbol, again two arguments. Second argument is the character to be displayed between single quotation so we have mathematical operators such as the equal sign plus minus division and multiplication function number with decimal point will display a number between 0 and 9 with the decimal point visible and function number will display a number between 0 and 9 and now we look at the example sketches available in the library. We begin with this demo sketch, which displays different characters on the four-digit display. We include our library, and we include this header file, which contains the bytes needed to sketch the alphabet from A to Z, both capital and small. We create this object by declaring it to the constructor and we indicate that the four digit display the data in is connected to pin 2 chip select is connected to pin 3 and the clock is connected to pin 4 within the setter function we initialize the display and set the brightness level and then we clear the display within the loop function we display on the four digit display the value 3.142 we apply some delay and clear the display and then we display G equals 9.8 we apply delay and clear the display and the process is repeated in this next example sketch we display the count from 0 to 99 inside the loop function we display the word play and then using a nested for loop we display the count from 0 to 99 when the count is done we display the word done apply a delay and clear the screen and repeat the process
In this next example sketch, we display temperature and humidity from DHT22 sensor on the four-digit display. Inside the setup function, we initialize the DHT22 sensor and then we initialize the four-digit MAX7219 display and set the brightness level. We clear the display and apply some delay and then display on the four-digit the word DHT22. 22. Apply some delay and then clear the display. Inside the loop function, we get the temperature and Celsius from the sensor and then display it on the module. And then every 15 seconds, we get the humidity value and display it on the module. In this last example sketch, we display pi equals 3.1416 on two MAX7219 four-digit displays. For display one, we are declaring this object, and these are the pins it is connected to the display. And then we are declaring the second object display two, and these are the digital pins the display is connected to. Inside the setup function, we initialize the first display and we initialize the second display. Inside the loop function, on one display we write pi equals 3 and on the other display we write 1416. This is version 1 of the library. In a future video, the library will be updated by including more functions such as scrolling of the text. Thank you for watching.